lesson 12 from your English reader, the reader of books. Children, now this lesson has been taken from the book Matilda written by Roald Dahl. Matilda is a small girl about 4 years old. She is different from other children as she is very intelligent and not many people can understand her. She goes into the world of storybooks and is very happy there. Okay, I must tell you that they have even made a movie on this book. So at some time, if you get a chance, read the book or watch the movie and you'll find it very, very interesting. Now let me read out the lesson for you. The reader of books. Matilda, a little girl, got out of her house alone one day. She walked to the public library in the village. Mrs. Phelps was in charge of the library. Matilda asked her if she might sit and read a book. Mrs. Phelps was surprised to see such a tiny girl without her parents, but she welcomed her. Where are the children's books, please? Matilda asked. They are over there on those lower shelves, Mrs. Phelps told her. From then on, every afternoon, Matilda would toddle down to the library. When she had read every children's book in the place, she wandered around in search of something else. Mrs. Phelps had been watching her for the past few weeks. She went to her and asked, Can I help you, Matilda? I am wondering what to read next, Matilda said. I have finished all the children's books. You mean you have looked at the pictures? Yes, but I have read the books as well. Mrs. Phelps looked down at Matilda and Matilda looked right back up at her. I thought some were very poor, Matilda said, but others were lovely. I liked the secret garden best of all. It was full of mystery. The mystery of the room behind the closed door and the mystery of the garden behind the big wall. Mrs. Phelps was stunned. Exactly how old are you, Matilda? She asked. Four years and three months, Matilda said. Mrs. Phelps was more stunned than ever. What sort of a book would you like to read next? She asked. Matilda said, I would like a really good one that grown-ups read. I don't know any names. Try this, she said at last. It's very famous and very good. If it's too long for you, just let me know and I'll find something shorter and a bit easier. Great Expectations, Matilda read by Charles Dickens. I'd love to try it. Over the next few afternoons, Mrs. Phelps could hardly take her eyes off the small girl at the far end of the room, leaning forward to read the book on her lap. It was a strange sight to see this tiny, dark-haired girl sitting there with her feet not even touching the floor. She read about the wonderful adventures of Pip and old Miss Havisham and her house with great interest. Mrs. Phelps always felt sad when the time came for her to cross the floor and say, It's ten to five, Matilda. Within a week, Matilda had finished Great Expectations, which had 411 pages. I loved it, she said to Mrs. Phelps. Has Mr. Dickens written any others? A great number, said the amazed M Mrs. Phelps. Should I choose you another? Now children, let's go through some of the words and their meanings. From then on, from that time, toddled down to move with short steps, wandered around, moved around without any reason, wondering, thinking about or wanting to know something, mystery, a story about some event or thing that remains unknown till the end, stunned, surprised, more stunned than ever, she was already surprised, but now she was even more surprised. Sort type. Hardly take her eyes off, could not stop looking at, cross the floor, go to the other side of the room. 10 to 5, 4.50 p.m., the closing time of the library, amazed, surprised. Now, that was very interesting, her visit to the local library and, you know, Matilda was different in a way because she was very, very intelligent, almost a genius. So children, now when you read the lesson, do follow the new words also there and enjoy the story of this little girl. You'll also get surprised and you're going to enjoy the book when you read it. Okay, bye.